Hello friends and welcome back to Home Sense with Nell. I want to thank you for stopping by to visit with me and come along with me on this trip to Dollar Tree for gardening supplies. So here we are at Dollar Tree. I like coming to this new store. It's usually pretty well stocked. And as expected, they have a great selection of faux florals, which I really like to pick up for crafting. But today I'm looking for more gardening items because I find I don't have enough planter boxes. So uh, what caught my eye at first are these plant trolleys. I can't believe that these plant trolleys are just a dollar when I've definitely paid at least $13 for these in the past. And as I look at the different color options, I notice that the wheels on the bottom actually seem to roll pretty smoothly. So I think these would work well. I also like these 14 inch uh, planter boxes and these galvanized tubs that we've been seeing all over the internet. I believe these are aluminum so these can rust but they are really nice for decorative uh, projects and for DIYs that are going to be kept indoors. Now look at these guys, these are spouted planters and they allow you to pour off excess water and they also allow you to water certain plants that prefer to be watered from the bottom. If you have plants indoors and you're um, subject to gnats or I think they're called fungus gnats, watering from the bottom is supposed to help eliminate that problem. Yes, these planter boxes are really nice. They don't have drainage holes, but um, you could easily take this home and just drill some holes in the bottom. This one had a little crack in it. Now look at these little pots, guys. I know I've paid at least $2 each for pots this size. And here at Dollar Tree, you can get three for just $1. That is a pretty good deal. And look at this little greenhouse. I didn't know they had anything like this here. This would keep your seedlings nice and warm until they've sprouted and they're ready for transplanting outdoors. It's very cool for nine, for $1. Now cocoa coir, that is kind of expensive and I have actually have a couple of hanging uh, baskets that I've just lined with landscape fabric, which is okay, but I think the cocoa coir actually looks better. I might go and go ahead and uh, pick that up they have such a great selection of different embossed planters uh, a great variety of colors and sizes look at those on top those are rather large planters I think those would easily be about five or six dollars at other stores Overall, I'm really impressed with this garden section. I see the small watering cans in the back, and then these square planters are pretty, pretty nice. They have a nice detail on the outside. Again, they don't have any drainage holes, but you can easily put your own in. Now friends, I wanted to come over to the, this is still the gardening section. <clears throat> the Job's uh, plant food spikes, I've used those in the past for my indoor plants and they're excellent. But I really got excited when I saw these seeds. I'm always looking for seeds. My problem is I have too many seeds and not enough places to put them. I know zinnias are very popular. They're so colorful, they grow really large and they're easy to take care of.
those daisies are pretty. But what I really need are marigolds to keep the pests away from my tomatoes. And wouldn't you know it, they have marigold seeds. And even though the price on these seed packets is 99 cents, they are actually, I believe, 25 cents each. I'm just checking the back to see what the recommended planting time is for my zone. Those are a great buy. And I always like cute and whimsical things in the garden. These little signs or placards are very nice, but I did notice that those round ones are made out of MDF, so they probably are not gonna be weatherproof. And they have adorable wind chimes. They have butterflies and just different whimsical items you can put in your yard or your patio to liven it up a little bit. And look at these. My grandparents had these on their back porch, I remember, um, especially the thermometer. Anytime you go outside to the backyard, you can see how hot or cool it was. And they even have trellises. I mean, these are smaller trellises. I think if you were to use it to stake uh, tomatoes or something like that, you'd probably have to buy three or so and attach them together with zip ties, but I think that could work. And here are garden flags. And I like these chains, apparently, that are used for hanging up the um, plastic planters, the round planters. That's a pretty cool idea. Yes, and these are great. Currently, I'm using popsicle sticks to identify what I've planted, but those plastic um, garden stakes are pretty nice and you get a pack of 10 for $1. These little clips are really nice. These can come in handy for a lot of different purposes. I did a DIY a couple weeks ago using succulent clips. I'll attach a link above. Now look at these fairy garden items. Aren't these cute guys? I mean, these would add such a special touch in your planter box or even a section of your yard that you just want to dress up a little bit. I mean, they have fairy houses, they have fairies, they have, I think they're little horses or unicorns, I'm not sure, but just so many cute little items. And you don't have to worry about them, about the wear and tear, because they're just a dollar. You don't have to worry if they get weather beaten. I believe that's a cute little table and chair set. <laughs> and look at those unicorns. Oh, and these little fairy houses are so cute. I did a fairy garden for a challenge last summer. And that came out really just, it was a fun fun challenge to do. But I think I'm gonna have to take that little purple roofed fairy house home with me. Purple is my favorite color. So moving on to a different section. This is even better than what we saw before. So you can get a box of flower seeds for actually a dollar or choose to buy a packet of flower seeds for a quarter. So it's up to you, but they have a great selection. I was really impressed. So I ended up getting also a box of marigold seeds in addition to that packet that I had already picked up. I noticed the packet has multicolored marigolds and these are just one variety, but I think these are gonna look great in the yard once they've bloomed. Now here's some chrysanthemum growing kits in really brightly colored pots. 
I think these would look great in a kitchen or on a sunny windowsill anywhere in your home. And I just had to pick up another hummingbird feeder, especially after seeing the YouTubers uh, Robbie and Gary Gardening Easy. They have a great YouTube channel and they have so many hummingbird feeders in their yard. It really just adds such a whimsical feel to the backyard. So I'd like to kind of duplicate that. And these caught my eye because this box claims that these flowers will bloom indoors. So I'm gonna go ahead and try it in my master bathroom. Uh, it's a pretty blank slate in there. So I think if these bloom, it'll be a great addition to my bathroom. Yep, so here's more seeds. These were directly across from the planter, the little galvanized tin full of seeds. And there's just such a really a great variety here. I mean, you have corn, you have flowers, beans, uh, zucchini. I'm trying to get everything in focus so you guys can see. I didn't see the petunias, and these are all just a quarter. They're not organic, but I mean, if that's not very important to you, then hey, I'd definitely give these a try. I would love to grow pumpkins, I just don't have the space, or I should say I don't have enough space in a sunny location right now. Now that would be something nice to pick up. Keep that in a small pot. I had so much fun planting zucchini last year. I'm looking forward to planting some other types of squash, including uh, spaghetti squash this year. This is just an amazing selection. I just can't say that enough. For 25 cents, I just can't believe that they have this variety. Um, I noticed that some other stores, big box stores, are actually cutting down on their selection of seeds. Uh, one cashier told me it's because people are buying so many seeds online now, but Dollar Tree is another great option. Well, that's it, guys. Thanks for coming along with me to Dollar Tree. Click right here to see more great gardening videos or click right here if you want to subscribe to my channel, Home Sense with Nell. See you next time.